So think about this, 25,000 bugs in your Christmas tree. I don't Ooh. want to think about that. That's no. according to Safer Brand. It's a company that provides organic gardening products. WFMY News 2's Candace Red is at Delancey Street Holiday Trees in Greensboro with tips on how to avoid those Christmas tree bugs. Good morning. Well, the last thing you want to do is come to a beautiful Christmas tree lot, pick up the perfect tree, get home, and then all of a sudden there's bugs in it, right? So that's why we're here to help you out because you want to stay jolly during the holiday season. Right now, I'm joined with Peyton, and we are here to talk about how to get rid of Christmas tree bugs. Obviously, these trees do not have bugs in them. You guys make sure that for the customers who come here. But let's talk about how you all get rid of Christmas tree bugs. So when you come and pick up a tree from us, um, the best thing to do really is to give it a good shake. Um, and then obviously when you get home, put it in the garage for maybe 24 hours or so just to make sure that the bugs do get out. Um, you know, like you're saying, we don't have bugs here on our trees, but if you do have bugs to make sure you shake it and give it a little bit of time in your garage. Let's talk about the shake. Okay, what kind of shake are we talking about here? Just a little tiny shake like this, or what do we have to really do? We have to really get into it? Good, okay, you have good, a good, good, good shake. shake. All right, understood. So I also heard that you could even put neem oil on it as well to help get rid of bugs. Talk a little bit more about that. Um, so with the neem oil, you know, you can put that on your tree. That'll help the bugs, you know, come off of your tree if you do have any. All right, sounds good. And like you said, leaving the Christmas tree in your garage for uh, about a day or so, that also helps. Let's talk more about Delancey Street and how you all are uh, standing out uh, outside of the competition, rather. Okay, so Delancey Street is a re-education facility for men and women that have hit their rock bottom, want to change their lives, you know, kind of at their wits end on what they want to do. They come to Delancey Street and we give them the proper tools to succeed on the outside once they've graduated from the program after two years. All right, sounds good to me. So now we have all the tips when it comes to making sure that you all are avoiding Christmas tree bugs. My favorite one is obviously just shaking the tree, uh, wiping it down with some neem oil, spraying it, uh, if you will. And then also, of course, leaving the tree in the garage uh, for a day or so. That always helps as well. But if you missed any of these tips, don't worry, we will be here again within the next half hour to give you some more tips and to talk more about Delancey Street and what they all have to offer. I think if there were any bugs remaining in the Christmas tree, the cat would take care of them. <laughs> Milo would love that. That's like a game. <laughs> would probably be the demise of the tree. But. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, cats have been known to do that. That's right. All right, for more ways to avoid Christmas tree bugs, we've got it all. You got you covered there. All you have to do is go to the website there, WFMYNews2.com. Look for that story. It's right in the Good Morning Show section.